So this is gonna be your Sermorellin 101, everything that you need to know about what it is, how it works. I'm gonna compare it to a few other peptides that are similar to it, um, side effects, and some dosing. Before I jump into this, there is a free peptide guide in my bio. Make sure that you save this video, make sure that you're following me. Sermorellin is a peptide that mimics something your body already produces called GHRH, which is growth hormone releasing hormone. Basically, it stimulates your pituitary gland to release more of your own natural growth hormone. So unlike HGH, which will completely replace your GH directly and can shut down your body's production of it, Sermorellin keeps your feedback loop intact. So it supports the system instead of completely taking it over. Here's a quick breakdown of how it works. One, you inject Sermorellin subcutaneously, usually at nighttime. Two, then it's gonna to bind to GHRH receptors in your pituitary. Number three, it's gonna trigger a pulse of growth hormone. Number four, your liver then converts GH into IGF-1, which is the real driver behind muscle recovery, fat metabolism, uh, deep sleep, skin and tissue repair, and sometimes even mental sharpness. So let's compare it to similar peptides. So uh, Sermorellin versus Tessamorellin. Tessamorellin is stronger than Sermorellin, which is also FDA approved for visceral fat reduction. Um, it's great, uh, but tessamorelin is more aggressive and a little bit more pricey. CJC-1295, which is very similar to sermorelin, and it's often stacked with other peptides to help bo boost uh, growth hormone pulses. Also similar to ipomorelin, but it, ipomorelin works on a different pathway, which is the ghrelin receptor. But when stacked with sermorelin or CJC, they amplify each other. Most people run this at 100 to 300 micrograms per night subcutaneously. 30 to 60 minutes before bed. You can cycle it for three to six months minimum to really feel a difference. Um, you can also run it solo or stack it with ipromorelin or CJC-1295 for a stronger growth hormone response. And side effects. There's basically not many side effects, mild headaches, uh, sometimes fatigue, similar things with other peptides.